Hello, my stampers. It's Thursday night. You know what that means. Time to plug in all the devices and get down on it, right? We are gonna have some stampin' fun tonight. Hello, everyone. This is Lisa Harden. I am joining you live from the Stampin' Zoo in, I'd like to say, a lovely Boise, Idaho. But um, it's a typical Boise, Idaho for June, which means it's hotter than, well, exactly. Hotter than, exactly. That's what you're thinking, and that's how hot it is. <laughs> I, um, had to run some errands after work, one of them being that I had to go pick up some, some glue sticks for my hot glue gun. Now, do I have glue sticks in this house? I do. I saw them sometime last weekend, just a few days ago. And I thought to myself when I saw them, hey, there's your glue sticks. <laughs> so, because I think the last time I was looking for glue sticks, I couldn't find them. And so I went to get them couldn't find them. I swear to you, could not find them. Looked in all these boxes back behind me. I had been in every box and every closet and the shed because I was pulling things from my BOGO sale, which is going on at my Christmas in July event on Saturday. 13 people are coming to this house. It's going to be a party to end all parties. However, couldn't find the glue sticks. So, had to go into Joanne's. Not a favorite place to be, but they were actually pretty nice in there today. So that was good. Okay. <laughs> yes, I don't think I've ever quoted Eminem, but Eminem via Maria says, hot enough to melt hell and burn Satan too. <laughs> it's just icky. What can I say? My screen's, um, freezing. So anyway, once I got home, I was like, you know what? If I don't leave this house for four more days until Monday morning, that'll be really cool. I don't know if I can make it. I think I'm going to have to get the dog food. It's always the dog food. They eat that fresh food that you can only buy in the little refrigerator section. Hmm. Maybe I should just make me kibble. <laughs> they wouldn't know what to do. I'd be crying. Hello, everybody. I'm so glad you're coming on to join me. We are going to have some fun tonight. Do not forget, we are in the middle of celebration. Yes, we are. It is awesome. But please don't forget, these supplies are, or these products are while supplies last. So we've already said adieu to one thing, the uh, pack of cards and note cards that are in soft sea foam and something else. They're right over here. Let me grab them. Tango, what are you looking for? What are you looking for? Go ahead and get it, whatever it is. Go ahead and get it. It's better than you woofing. Just sitting out there woofing. Not a soul in sight. Just woofing. <laughs> okay, these cards go with the Splendid Day. There's 20 of them. You're coming to my event on Saturday, you will get them, but they're sold out. So you'll have to choose something else. And thank goodness we have like a bazillion beautiful products in the celebration flyer, but they are only through July or August or while supplies last, whichever comes first. So anyway, only one thing gone. That's very good. A few stamp sets are on hold. Well, it's not that they are um, sold out because they're in the annual catalog or the holiday catalog, but they are not orderable until the week of the 25th. I have confidence in that deadline because they do make the stamps in Utah, but they could be waiting for packaging or something like that. But that said, I think we're going to be fine on that. So, um, and guess what? There's only about, I don't know, several hundred other products you can choose. If you want something today, <laughs> I am posting at the bottom of my screen a host code. And if you shop with me and your order is under $150, I would thank you so much for using this host code. This is how I gather 
free benefits from orders that are under $150 and I turn around and give them to you in you know the shape of drawings and things like that we will have a drawing it will be shortly after this video ends <laughs> because um, I forgot to grab all the names <laughs> so I'm just thinking about that right now one minute Tango get it and get out can you hear him back there what is it what is it if I can't get it you're gonna have to go oh yeah get it hurry up get it out of there give it to me ladies are waiting all right get that ball get it get the ball get the ball <laughs> so my cleaning lady had put one of his balls into this Tupperware thing over there he could have there wasn't there was no lid on it oh man I tell you what we're all a little frazzled and crazy apparently all right I'm gonna say hello to people and um, my friends that are coming on live if you are here live I welcome you thank you so much for joining me this is just I've been doing this over three years now and it just gets to be more and more fun so I hope you feel the same. If you are brand new to the Stamping Zoo, I welcome you. Thank you so much. I would love it if you would post in the comments a little hello. Tell me you're new. Tell me where you're from or anything you'd like me to know about you. Tell me your favorite crafting, hobbies, and maybe your favorite colors, things like that. And uh, if you are watching on replay on YouTube, hello YouTubers, YouTube's growing. You're getting me there. So. Uh, at last count, probably 20 minutes ago, there were 462 subscribers. So that's so cool. We're almost to 500. And the followers on the Stamping Zoo are almost to 1,000. I think we have like four more people to go. Make sure that you might think you follow the Stamping Zoo, but you may have just liked the Stamping Zoo. You have to find the button that says follow the Stamping Zoo. And um, so anyway, I hope you all do that. Uh, don't ask me what the difference is, but I don't know. Facebook likes it. And um, it'll be fun to have it at 1,000, right? So tonight, uh, let's see. I have so many things, so many pretty things. We are going to make the pink card that I showed you last week that we didn't have time for, okay? And this is from the Trees for Sale stamp set. And... Did I use, oh, I used some free paper. Um, some paper that is in uh, the annual cut. Let's see, I'm, I might have misspoken that. It is a hostess set, oh, here it is. It's a hostess set of paper. I'll show you when I point the camera down, but it's called Celebrate Everything, and it really does. It's one of those double packs of paper. It's four sheets of 12 different double-sided designs. So 48 sheets of paper, a lot of paper. And um, anyway, so I just chose one of the really fun ones from that. We're gonna make that card tonight. I'm also gonna show you the card that I posted for my Insta Hop. I was invited to join an Insta Hop. It's called an Insta Hop because it's over on Instagram. So if you don't follow the Stamping Zone on Instagram, but you would like to, I would love it. There's another place where you can follow me. You can just be like a super fan. <laughs> I'll have to think of some name for the Stamping Zoo super fan, right? Uh, super Llama or something. But um, we'll think of that. We'll think of a good name because there's a few of you out there. Yes, more than a few actually. So um, anyway, I hope you're all doing well tonight. KZ says she played on and off in her craft room today. Hello, Susan. Susan T. Stamping. Well, yeah, Susan T. Stamping. She's in Florida. I need to go clear up here. Oh my gosh, Jean, Lori beat you in the comments. I can't believe it. <laughs> she typed a, a smidge faster than you, Jean. Hello, ladies. I'm so glad to see you. And hello, Leslie. Lori shared. Thank you for reminding me, Sherry, or Lori, if you would be so kind, everyone. If you would share this video, that's what helps the Stamping Zoo grow. That's what helps get those followers up, and that in turn gets us out and about in the uh, World Wide Web. 
Okay, so more people get to learn about the Stamping Zoo and come along with us in Papercraft every Thursday night at 7 p.m. Mountain Time or various other times during the week. I'm very active on my Facebook channel. I'm very active um, in my email subscriptions. So if you go over to the stampingzoo.com, you can shop from there. You can also just take a look around. And finally, there will be a purple pop-up box that asks you if you would like to subscribe to my emails. If you say yes, then you will be on the email list. You can get various things like tutorials. I haven't done tutorials for a while on there, but I need to post some exclusive tutorials. In fact, next week I'll be doing one about three different sizes of gift bags. So please make sure you are subscribed to receive my emails. That is also where you learn about things like my BOGO sale, okay? Which, again, the first phase of that is going to be at this Christmas in July party that I'm having on Saturday. But there will be a second phase, and that will start at the beginning of August, and it will be online. So if you'd like to know about that and receive the link for that, you need to be signed up for my email because that is where I will be posting that, okay? So it's free. I do not barrage you with emails because partially because I don't have time. <laughs> I'm sure I could think of something to send you every day, but um, there's just not enough hours. So look at all those shares. Thank you so much, everybody. I appreciate that. So the first part is actually sharing the video. And the second part is making sure that you write shared in a comment on, the po on the, this post. Because once you do that, you're going to be in the drawing next week for something that I'm going to draw out of the treasure chest back behind me. It could be a stamp set, embellishments. It's something, it's something paper crafty and something stampin' up. Okay. Um, other than that, we never know. Okay. So hello everyone. We've got some Floridians, and I'm sure they're like, "What are you complaining about? It's a dry heat, right?" <laughs> Hello, Roz. Roz shared. And hi, Kathy Strang. Watching the radar. Storms are brewing in the middle of the country. Oh, my. Hello, Martine. Bonjour up north, Martine. I hope that you have a little bit better weather. Yes, this is your time to have nice weather, right? Maybe not in the dead of winter, but this is your time. Tango wants you to play with him. Yeah, he does. He is quite a little talker if he has something back there that he wants. Um, <gasps> Kathleen, you, <laughs> she posted a bunch of cards that she made and then she used 10 of them. Well, I have no doubt you will make at least 10 more. You are very good at making multiples. <laughs> Hello, Donna. I hope you're doing well. And Cindy says she went to Joanne's today also, ended up leaving your stuff at the registers. Oh. The wine caster walked away to find the person who was cashing out and then just wandered off. <laughs> First of all, they make you go through that like gauntlet of junk. I don't buy anything there on purpose because I hate those things. And yeah, sometimes they're kind of known in a bad way for their for their lines, aren't they? Um but anyway, yeah, it's one of those few things that Stampin' Up! doesn't sell are glue sticks. So I had to go there. That was all I bought because I have everything here. That's in one of the millions of nice things about shopping with the Stampin' Zoo. Shopping with Stampin' Up! It's just easy. It's complete except for your glue sticks should you need them. Hello, Jill. Very nice to see you and thank you for sharing. Appreciate that. Oh my gosh, they're just coming in like wildfire. Kathy Murphy, thank you for sharing. Catherine Murphy, Murphy, I'm sorry. You might not go by Kathy. So, nice Kathy String. You made some gifts. Oh, that's fun. She's road tripping it. Roz was playing with gnomes. Kathy says hello from Colorado. Hello, Kathy. Kathy Walton, very nice to see you here tonight. We've got a lot of Kathy's. We got a lot of, we've got all three. No, we've got two of the Kathy's with an IE. We're missing Kathy Sanford. It was her birthday a few days ago. So, you know, maybe she's off doing birthday stuff. It's been over 100 degrees every day in July so far in Texas. Corinne, oh, I know people say this about Idaho, but what are you doing down there, girl? Get out. 
<laughs> it's your home, right? It's what you love, but maybe not the 100 degrees. Okay, so let's see here. I was still in the middle of getting my supplies out. I had to spend precious time looking for my phone, and guess where it was? Right over here underneath the stamp set. I was all over this house. Thank goodness it's small. <laughs> oh, gosh. Just look. It's kind of like the glue sticks. Like, you know I'm going to find those next week when I'm putting things away. And I'll be like, oh, right. Right, right. Um, okay, we're going to play with something that's new to me. I've had it for a couple of weeks. But we're going to play with Rays of Light. <gasps> Isn't this cool? And actually, we're playing with it because... Um, I took a nap after work, super exciting, and then when I wake up, I always watch a few minutes of whatever's going on. I check the inventory listing and stuff like that, and Bruno Bertucci was using Rays of Light. We're not going to case him, uh, tonight at least, but they're super fun. But then I was like, oh yes, I want to play with Rays of Light, and we're going to play with the new deckled rectangles. I received a swap that used these rectangles, and um, it's from Tara. Tara, I think, Tara Woodward. I might have that last name wrong. But you know what? Next week, during my live, I'm going to tell you all about the ladies that I swapped with because um, we are going to feature those swaps in my live and we'll be casing, you know, at least one of them. So anyway, I'll get her name right then. But uh, she used the deckled rectangles and I had ordered it that day, so I was so happy. You've been thinking about the stamp set, the Ray of Light, Rays of Light? Good. I love that Madonna song. I will not sing it for you, however, because, you know, Madonna would be jealous. <laughs> All right, everybody, let's take a look at, um, let me grab my screens. I know there are a couple of things I want to remind you about. First of all, just in case you forget what I just said, all celebration products are while supplies last. So you've been warned. You've been warned. No crying. <laughs> well, you can cry, but I can't do anything about it. Okay. So um, shop wisely. We'll also tell you there is a beautiful signing bonus. Um, this month and next month, if you decide to join the Stamping Zoo, you will get to choose uh, the regular great deal of $125 of product of your choice. Anything in the catalogs or on the clearance rack for $99 plus tax. Then you will also get a 20% discount on all of your purchases for at least three months. And then after that, as long as you remain active with Stampin' Up! But the other thing that you will receive right away with your um, discount, your initial discount shopper of or shopping of $125 of product, is you will get what you can see in this picture here, which is this beautiful planner, an 18-month planner making plans stamp set and three notebooks it's about $45 value and you'll get that free on top of all of the other product you're going to get and a free paper pumpkin kit and business supplies that doesn't mean you have to use the business supplies but Stampin' Up's gonna send you the business supplies so if you want to use them you can so I hope you are all taking a look at that really closely and if you live in the United States I would absolutely love to have you uh, on my team the zoo crew everybody is welcome to be on my team and everybody um, can what do I want to say everybody brings something special right and something that's all unique in their own so I would be very happy to have you join my team you can certainly ask me about it or again you can just go over to the stampingzoo.com and there you will find a page that says join the zoo and from then on you can uh, you can just take a look at what I've written there you can ask me questions you can call me my phone numbers over there and um, then finally you can just use the link to sign up over there if you'd like if you're all ready to go okay so 
let's start with this trees for sale. So uh, this is our newest catalog, the mini catalog. You can also shop from our fairly new, only a few, only a month or two old. No, only month old, right? No, I guess it was May. Whatever. I get wrapped up in the details, right? It doesn't matter. Um, the annual catalog as well. And so the good feelings and the ray of light, the, they come from the annual catalog. So we're going to use products from this right now. So again, let me show you how this will work. Part of these supplies come from this annual catalog and part of, or this mini catalog, and part of them come from Celebration Rewards. So it's really nice that they have mixed and matched things. So you can buy pieces and parts or buy it all. I really recommend buying it all. <laughs> when in doubt. I'm just teasing you. Okay, so we're going to use this stamp set that's called Trees for Sale. It's so great. I love it. We used it last week on the live also. We made two really cool cards with the stamps and the dies and the camper. Remember the camper? It couldn't be cuter. So showed you how to put that together. And so then here are all of the stamps, everything and some cool sentiments. And then if you go over to the celebration flyer, oh, look at all these fun things. So many fun things. And one of the fun things you can buy are dies, the dies that we used again last week. And we're gonna use a few tonight. Uh, yeah, we're only gonna use the dog tonight, actually. Okay, so here it needs a new label, but here are all of the dies. You can choose this for free with a $100 purchase of products. So you can include that Trees for Sale stamp set. That's like $22. And you can buy some other fun stuff. Now I will tell you, the Trees for Sale stamp set is not orderable until the week of the 25th. This is one of those products for the US and probably Canada that's not available until then. That dog is gonna get a spanking. Yeah, there's a neighbor. Somebody dared to drive into their neighborhood. Tango, stop that. Hey, cool it. All right. So, oh, and also don't forget, I have my um, have my inspiration here. Isn't it so cute? Look, it's not dead. It's looking good. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Not bad. <laughs> it's super cute. I haven't watered it yet. It's one of those, you know, a succulent. So you don't overwater these. But I need to remember that it needs some water eventually. Okay, so with that, this is a close up of the card we're going to make tonight. And has some little doggy right here. Isn't he so cute? He's so excited. And uh, we have some sequins on here. I have mashed up a snowflake and have thrown it on here. I've done some stapling. It's a little bit of everything. I was thinking about texture and stuff. I don't know that I love this twine, but I wanted something kind of darker to ground the whole thing. So there you go. And then finally we have the dog tracks inside as well. So let's make this card because you're going to need to have it. And I need to show you all the little steps, right? So believe it or not, I have this paper that I've cut up, got it all ready. This is the piece of paper from the Celebrate Everything. You can earn this paper too. You can use your host benefits. I know I throw away, I throw out all this jargon, but you know, one thing about it is you can always message me and just ask me, no obligation to buy. But if I've said something on my live and you're a little unsure about what is she talking about? Please ask me, okay? So um, this is the Celebrate Everything paper I was talking about. It is $18. However, you can only purchase this after you have placed an order of $150 or more. After that, you will have immediately a $15 credit that again, you go and spend on money or spend on product of your choice. So you can take that $15, spend it on this, 
add three more dollars. Uh, the system lets you do that. So for any order over $150, you can purchase this paper. If you want, you can also purchase this caroling mice. Um, it is $13. So it just depends on how many, how many dollars you purchase in product as to how many of those things you can get for free. And very quickly, let's see here, I showed, um, this is the, this is the table that shows you how much in stamp and rewards you earn, okay? So if you spend $450 or more, you get a 50% off item. That does have a couple of restrictions, but it tells you all about it right here. So if you wanna ask me about that, maybe you have a group of people that you would like to get together and place a big order. I can help you with that by giving you a specific code and then everybody can order separately and pay separately, but you can accumulate all of the host rewards, okay? And then have a nice little splurge. Yes, and you can also put it in a pre-order. That's what Kathy says. If you are placing an order and then you have host rewards and it says, do you wanna place this? Put this towards a starter kit. You can do that, super fun. Oh, you can put it in a pre-order. I bet I know what you're talking about. When you are a demonstrator, you can pre-order it. Yes, they do usually give us that option. One more great thing about being uh, a smart shopper, <laughs> which I also call a demonstrator, right? I am an independent demonstrator for Stampin' Up! And everybody is that signs up for the, um, the shopper special that we were talking about earlier with the planner and everything. Everybody is an independent demonstrator. But that doesn't mean that you have to do what I'm doing, or you can do more, you can do less, you can be your only customer. It's all good. We love it all. Stampin' Up! says whatever you want to do, as long as it makes you happy, which I love about them. They don't push, right? They don't pressure. Okay, I'm getting my stapler out here. So the first thing I'm going to do is kind of, now that I've already made this, I messed around with this card a lot, trying to decide like, what did I wanna, you know, how did I wanna change things up or whatever. So I'm just going to roughly fold that over and you know our papers are two-sided. So it's really nice that we can just show a little bit of another color. And then I think, let me see. Sometimes I have colored staplers, staples in here and if I had some pink ones, I would use them, but I only could find blue. And I don't want to introduce that. That's too much. Okay. Just like that. That's how easy that is. Now we have in this stack of treasures, we have these returning faves that are these laser cut snowflakes. They're called wonderful snowflakes. Their number is 156340. They are really reasonable. I don't remember what the price is, but I feel like they're six or seven dollars. Anyway, um, and there's several in here. Let's see, does it tell us? 24, 24 of these. And this is what they look like. They have an iridescent finish on one side. Okay, and then the other side's just plain white. And you can ink this, they're a little delicate, right? I find that it, easiest way or the most successful way to pull these out of their paper is to hold it by the middle and pull one side and then just pull the other okay so we're just going to use one we're going to cut it in half and like i said kind of mash it up mangle it <laughs> there casey says she's her best customer and she's been doing it for five years Nice! And then finally, she decided she wanted to sign up two other stampers. So there you go. Yes, it's a great company for just buying your own products at a discount. I love that. And you know what? That was my intention. <laughs> After I was, I stayed a customer only for the longest, longest time. Mistake. And then, um, then I had this idea in my head that I was only going to be my own customer. Well, that didn't last long because I was having too much fun. Too much fun! So anyway, the rest is history and here we are tonight, right? 
Okay, I will uh, rough those up a little bit after we finish this. I wanted to see if I can remember if I uh, embossed that. Yes, I did. Okay, so we have a little square here that's gonna go in the front and we're gonna do some stamping and embossing. And this is for the inside. We will stamp the feet. We're gonna kind of do all the stamping at once, right? And then um, we're gonna stamp and emboss with clear embossing powder. And I'm going to show you how to make different colors of embossing. So if you can see, the darker pieces on the tops of these trees are actually shiny. I'm not sure if you can see it, but um, you'll be able to see the technique. And that is that we're going to use our Versamark ink and our clear embossing powder and our new handy <clears throat> embossing tray. Uh, let's see, where's my clear? Oh, that's white. Not going to do it. Silver? Come on now, it should be right in the front. Oh, here we go. All right. And you're going to want your heat tool. I have a little Swiffer in here to clean up some powder mess. But like I said, we're going to do the stamping first. So let me get out. I think I used all the trees. I used one of each size. Great. It's a good thing I have a bazillion blocks, isn't it? <laughs> oh. All right. Like I said, this stamp set, if you go to order it right now, you cannot order it right now, but never fear. It will be available the week of July 25th, okay? And it's, it is not something that is well, well, it's not something that is not going to be available because it's, the stamp set itself is in the mini catalog and the mini catalog goes through the rest of the year, okay? So you will be able to shop from that, no problem. But you'll only be able to get these dies, these Christmas dies, you can only get them for the next couple of months through the end of August, remember, or while supplies last. Everybody I know has bought them. So um, I'm not saying they're gonna sell out. I'm saying if you really, really want them, you should purchase them sooner rather than later. I'm looking for a smaller block, but not the smallest block. But of course, I have some things going on in the other room that are all ready for class. So that's life. We are, some of our blocks might be a little goofy here. That's okay. We also need the dog, because it's like adorable. Will it fit on the smallest block? Ooh, barely. I think it will. And then finally we want, well, we're going to need two more, but we need the dog paw prints and then we need Christmas greetings. And so let's put that on this one. And when I am blocking up Christmas greetings, this one is a really good reminder to tell you that when you have photopolymer stamps that are um, long and thin, it's really best to set them down like you're going to use them um, so slick side up right and then take the block and put it on there do not try to put the stamp set on the block sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't but you can pull it out of its natural shape really easily and sometimes that's fun if you're just trying to do a special technique but if you want it straight and it looks straight as a stamp then um, use the technique I just showed you, okay? So, all right, let's see here. Now, I think I used, I'm looking at this green. I don't think it was, no, nope, it wasn't mint. Now I know that. It wasn't soft succulent either though. I don't feel like it. I feel like that's too gray. Is it pure pizzazz? Nope. We're gonna just have to make up a color pretty soon. I know I used polished pink. I know that. See, I should have made this last week after all, but we were running so late. <laughs> oh my 
gosh. We were running so late. I was like, I have to give these girls a break. That's right, Roz. Order the dyes if you want them. Um, even if you don't want to get the stamp set right now because the dyes will be gone at best at the end of August. I'm thinking they're going to go before then. But again, I don't know for sure. Okay. Just a heads up. But let's just use Granny Apple. I like that. And this is a really bright card. So we'll have a slight, we'll be able to see like a slight difference with these. All right. So let's see here. And then I was looking up at comments and I got distracted. So I'm not going to look at comments right now. <laughs> so uh, if there's something you really want me to see, you know, pull a Kathy string and put it in all caps. And then I'll probably see it, okay? So let's see here. We need our Versamark and we need our embossing buddy. And we're gonna take this smaller piece of paper, right? And we are going to just stamp initially. We're gonna just stamp onto it. I also want to have I want a paper piercing mat because we're using the Fordo Pullover stamps and so they need something to kind of have a cushioning and so I am just taking this and putting it under my grid paper so it stays well so it doesn't get any dirtier than it is already okay so let's see here I, and I don't remember did I use it full strength or second generation I feel like I used it second generation because then the embossing can be darker. There we go. But I really wanted to ink that up. So second generation means I'm going to stamp it once and then I'm gonna come in and stamp it again on that paper. Okay. Oh, that's so pretty. I love it already. <laughs> See what it takes me a long time to make a stamp. I go, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Okay, now my granny apple. And looks like I put the middle one full strength right there, okay? So we will get some definition, but it will be a little bit different than the first card I made. Ooh, that's cute. And then finally the little guy, and this one's gonna be second generation. You can see I'm inking this up a lot and I'm moving it around and that is because this is a stamp with that's a huge it's all inked okay and so I don't want to have any lines in my stamping I also want to make sure I get enough ink on the stamp itself otherwise my images aren't going to be as vibrant as I want I like vibrant images so um, I want to really load up the stamps with ink and so that's how I do that oh squeaky squeaky clean okay so those are the full image trees right and then we're gonna bring in the other trees the details in just one minute I'm gonna put this right here and I'm gonna use gray to um, put our little doggy feet in I guess I can do it on the front too. Uh, let's see. Yeah, my dog's feet really should be back behind my dog, not in front of my dog. But you just have to like, you know, this is just the layout. I mean, this is just the artistic layout. Um, so just pretend that he like ran up this way and then came back around the tree. Okay. Lots of little images on this stamp. You gotta make sure that your feet are pointing up. So the littlest foot is at the top, like it's going away from you. And super cute. There's the inside of our card. And then I'm gonna bring this back. And I know I've got these inks all over the place and you're probably freaking out a little bit but I need them. Okay. So that's 
totally cute on its own. If you just want to make a one layer scene, cut the dog out, call it good. But of course, we're not going to do that because I like layers and I like all the things. And I know a lot of you do too. So um, now I'm going to show you how to bring in and make these look more detailed. So I am going to put some embossing buddy on this and let's just test it. Um, I'm sure the ink is dry, but you know, you might want to test it if you're going to do these um, stamping and embossing over images. So I'll just bring this in and make sure that it falls off and it does. If it doesn't fall off, that means your ink isn't dry and you need to bring your heat tool in a little bit. Um, and you, it's great for you to find that out ahead of time versus, you know, after you have stamped an image. So we're good that way. Not sure cardstock counts. Oh yeah, you're, for your tax? I don't know that. I don't know. Um, I do know that. I know how to find that out, but um, it's not a Stampin' Up thing. <laughs> you're tempting me though, Kathleen, because you know that's like in my wheelhouse at work, of daytime work, but I can't get off track. <laughs> okay, so here's how we're going to make any color of embossing powder that you would like. So we are going to bring our detailed stamp in, and we are going to put it into our Versamark ink. This is a clear watermarking ink. I think that's what it's called. It's a great ink to have. You have to have it for embossing. Then I'm going to take the stamp and I'm going to put it in the polished pink again. It is my understanding that the Versamark ink does not hurt um, your polished pink ink pad. Okay, and then I'm going to bring this in and I'm sorry, but I'll probably have to pull it kind of close to me because you want to be up over this kind of a stamp and place it over the tree. And if you don't get it exactly, it's still okay. Um, and then finally, you take that off, gorgeous. Look at that, it's so pretty. And then I am going to put it in to some of the clear embossing powder right after that. Okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and heat this one because I need to make sure that I'm working on such a small piece of paper that I'm afraid I'll put my hands into the embossing powder if I wait and emboss all three trees. So you can do it step by step. Heat it up, get the powder out of the way, okay? And then once it feels pretty warm, go ahead and bring it to your paper. And I like to move it. Some people do it from behind here, behind the paper. I am totally fine. This is how I learned. And so this is what I do. And as you can see, that is getting shiny right before our eyes. And it is going to have a really nice finish to it. And then once you see that it's kind of bubbly and then it goes smooth, that's it. You're done. That's all you need. So, um, again, let me bring this up. I don't have much delay tonight, which is great. So I hope you can see that you get both texture and shine when you do that. Okay. It really, um, just brings your card to life. So I love it. Okay. I'm going to use a little more embossing, buddy. We can wipe it up at the end if we, if we don't use it, but and then I am going to bring in, we're going to do the same thing that we did with the polished pink um, with the granny apple green, right? Where is the list? Oh, you are you guys talking about something else? Oh, got ya. Lori, it's for people who live in Florida. So, and other there are other states that have tax holidays, sales tax holidays, but... Um, those ladies are in Florida, and I don't think you are, Lori, unless you've moved. Okay, so first Versamark, and then the color of ink that you want your embossing powder to be, and 
And then finally, Tango, stop that. Bring this. And now I'm feeling brave enough that I can do this. And the Versamark is a slower drying ink on purpose. So we have time to ink it up. If I were doing a whole page of images, I, I would do image, image by image, but we don't have to worry about that. And then finally, I'm gonna bring it over to the embossing powder. And we've got a good, we've got good coverage, but I'm gonna give it one more. And looks good to me. All right, let's bring this in again. Get this going. Get some shine on these trees. They're so beautiful already. But this is just, like I said, one more way of using your products. One more way of making your stamp set look different than, um, you know, how you used it before. Okay, we are coming right along. That is super cute. And then finally, I'm gonna do one more bit of embossing, but it's gonna be on gray paper with white embossing powder. So let's set these things aside. Let's put our embossing powder away. So this new tray comes as part of a trio. No, actually four items. You get a paintbrush, you get these awesome reverse tweezers. These are the best reverse tweezers I've ever had. This part is, I think it's ceramic. And so anyway, it's fantastic. And then you get this paintbrush and finally you get an embossing buddy. And those four things are $27 US and they're, they were the first things that I wanted. And I already have one, but I had to show my customers because first of all, they've been wanting the tray like for eons and searching for it used can't really find any used because nobody ever gets rid of them right and so anyway um i'm so glad that we have this now and this is the month this month and next month is the month to get it right because you're going to earn celebration rewards and then we just have this little screw on cap now this is clear powder so i'm not too worried um i could definitely clean the tray out with this swiffer cloth should I want to. Um, where's the lid? That's what I'm more interested in. <laughs> and, oh great, yeah, I like the pink too. I really like the pink. Now let me see, I've got the white. Okay, and I just need a strip of gray. Let's see, hopefully that doesn't give you too much shine. And then I'm spying on the neighbors just like the dogs were. Not really. <laughs> it just happened to be pulling out. I'm not quite as bad as Tango. <laughs> yeah, that looks annoying in the video. Okay, we'll put that down. All right, so this image, I have already kind of measured it, but do I remember? No. So let's take our favorite ruler, right, Leslie? And it is three quarters of an inch. Okay. So I've just got this, some more trees, wouldn't you know it? And uh, I've got a strip here that I pretty sure is going to be long enough. So we are going to do three, three quarters of an inch for that, for our embossing. I don't like to cut my pieces afterward. I'm just not good at it. And I feel like you can get a nice clean image and then you can mess it up on the trimmer. So I don't, I don't waste my time. Um, so this, we're going to do standard embossing. So if you're new to embossing, you're learning some embossing tips. Yes. Oh, look at Kathleen. She's giving everybody the tax advice. Good job, KZ. <laughs> Let's see here. I should probably clean up a couple of these trees and get them out of the way, especially the pink one. Because I am working with some white images here, some white cardstock. And also, I can just totally see myself sticking my hand in that. 
I like the combination of the granny apple green and the polished pink, especially with the um, polished pink background. Both of those colors I uh, consider brights. And so um, I almost think this was like Bermuda Bay or Calypso Coral. Or, no, not Calypso Coral, but um, Bermuda Bay, I think. Pool party? I don't remember now, but it's okay. You can make it exactly how you want to, right? Okay, so then there's this piece, and I need a paper pumpkin box. You know why. Because we're going to do a little bit of splattering, because I think it looks too plain. <laughs> so I'm going to bring in my, let's see here. Let's do my light paper pumpkin. No, my light polished pink. I'm sorry. Stamp and blend. So I'm going to take the paintbrush end and the lid and I'm going to put it inside. I want you to be able to see that. I'm going to put this point inside the lid and flick it. See there? You just flick it. You don't need to be too concerned about where it's going to land because you're not going to have extreme control over that. You just got to be okay with it going all over the place. That's why you use an empty paper pumpkin box or a kit. They come in, they mostly, they come in the same boxes. So then you have just a little bit of splatter, right? A little bit of background without um, having to use colored paper or anything like that. Okay. And so then this guy is going to get the embossing buddy okay and then again now it's just for some mark and then followed up with white embossing powder okay so let's go ahead and we're gonna cut the ends off but right to start I'm going to center it and I'm getting some glare so apologize if my Noggin's right in the way. Ooh, so pretty. I love it. And then just bring this in and let's use some of our white powder. Now I will tell you, I saw that the embossing powder trio pack that is white, black, and clear is on low inventory. Add that to your order. So you have plenty of things to order without that trees for sale right now okay um because you're gonna want that especially going into the holiday seasons oh yeah i would suggest you get both of the trios so we have a metallics trio of embossing powders and we have a neutrals okay that brush also is for taking little pieces of embossing powder off of your paper before you heat it okay so I think we have a really good image there once again and so my gun's already pretty heated and <laughs> I love that your husband came in to check on you that's hilarious <laughs> and one one already fell asleep Gary's asleep <laughs> Gary Gary used to be so curious and now he's like whatever just rosin or stamping stuff <laughs> okay so pretty is this not Pretty. I love it when you do it on a dark color and it just pops off of there. We will let that cool down. Um, embossing powder is certainly set, but um, you know, I like to whoops, I like to give it a few seconds before I start fiddling around with it. In the meantime, I can put this away. So again, clear embossing powder. The stuff you just have to remember to put it away and don't get your heat tool out and when this tray is anywhere in the vicinity 
or you will blow this stuff to kingdom come and you'll be like, it'll be all over everything until you move and then maybe after that too. Okay, so just an FYI. And then I take this thing, I have this trash over here that's a recycling bin, but it's not for recycling. And anyway, it just, it has a wide opening, I guess my point was. And then I tap it in there and then that's how I just clean it. So um, I really don't get my colors mixed up. Give it a little tap. That goes in there. We've got the embossing ready. Put that away. Love those Stampin' Storage drawers. Okay, now I am going to take this. This is a darker color, right? And so now I'm going to take that Swiffer and I'm going to kind of buff it. I'm not putting a lot of pressure on it, but what I'm trying to do is clean it. Um, there was some residual embossing buddy powder on it, which is really probably cornstarch. And so I wanted to get that off so we can get back to the dark color that we started with. And while I'm doing this with my little Swiffer cloth, you can go ahead and bring it over onto your work surface too, and even your grid paper. And that is a really good way to clean that, reuse the bowl several times, you know. So just keep that in with your embossing stuff and um, you'll be all cleaned up. <laughs> I love it, Leslie. He says, you have a video this morning? <laughs> <laughs> you watching your programs? <laughs> you say yes if you need Sally and I. We are going to be, we're going to be busy. <laughs> okay, super cute. Okay, now, let me see. I always have a hard time with losing pieces and parts, don't I? Right in front of me. So silly. These are so gorgeous. I'm not, I haven't used them enough yet, but don't worry, I will be using them. These are the new trio of sequins for everything. They are $15 US. They are in the annual catalog in the embellishments. Just look for sequins, you will find them. They're so gorgeous and they're beautifully packaged. Okay, so this is like sequins for everything 2.0. 1 1.0, which is retired, was also beautiful, but it, the packaging was very precarious. These are really sturdy and I mean look in here. There's all sorts of different shapes. This one's like blue, silver, iridescent white. There's a couple round things in here so they're perfect for shakers. I'm going to grab some out specifically and use them for our card so they're just great for that too. And then we've got this pink. Oh look at this pink. I, it's hard for me to say I have a favorite. I don't because I love pink and blue and green. What can I say? I think everyone does. That's why it's called sequence for everything, right? And each of them has some iridescence to them. So you can pick those out for special projects. I know whoever's given this the heart, they deserve it. Look at them. See, and they have these like um, they look like the pearls, only they're not iridescent. They're just half pearls. So there's all sorts of little pieces and parts in here. So again, this is all one package. This is a ton of sequins, $15, okay, for this trio of sequins. Again, you can get that at thestampingzoo.com. Hit the Shop Now tab, and away you go. Yeah, they're beautiful, aren't they, Lori? I love them so much. Okay, we're gonna need that. We're going to need our twine. Now, let's see here. Sorry, that's a little over here in a little spot. Oh, of course the white's not in there. That would have been too easy. We have lots of different colors of twine. Oh, here's one. Of course, there's the one I should have grabbed. Anyway, we have lots of different colors should you want um, different colors of twine. We currently have that in color essentials pack of five different colors of twisted twine. Beautiful. But we're going to use the black and white. And let's see. I think I'm going to start with the inside. That's the easiest, right? Now I am going to, we're done stamping and I don't like to adhere things. 
um, I don't want that spongy part underneath there. I really want a hard surface when I'm using, um, here we go, when I'm using my seal. So um, I'll just bring that in, give it a couple rolls of the seal. And the seal plus is fine too uh, for those really difficult. Um, seal plus is more for fabrics, like really textured ribbon and um, things that are heavily dry embossed, stuff like that. I find that I like it the best. It is so strong though that it will rip regular cardstock if you're not, if you don't use a light hand. You have to use a light hand. This is a little crooked. Okay. I think we're good now. We're good, yay. Okay. And then this one, the twine is around the first layer. And so I'm just gonna do that right now. Um, probably leave them together. And let's see, how do I wanna do this? I'm going to bring it around and then tie it in a little bow over on the right, okay? And we can do all that before all this paper and the trees and all that stuff get on here. So that's kind of handy. Now, the other great thing about those tweezers that I told you about is they reverse. So when you let go of them, that means they close. They're always closed. That's why they're, that's the reverse part. And um, why that comes in handy as a crafter is because you can put them right here when you're tying a bow. Yes? And they're your third hand. So I wore out another pair of tweezers doing this very thing. They finally like the handle kind of broke off of them. And so now I'm just using them. I use them at today for the hot glue. <laughs> so those are my hot glue tweezers now. Um, I was making something fun. I'll show you next week via email right so make sure you sign up for that email list again you can just go to the stampingzoo.com and um, there will be a purple pop-up box that will ask you if you want to sign up you say yes because that's where you find out about all the zoo news and all the stampin up news right okay but that's where i usually put things first for my classes that's where registration links are. I cannot post most of those per Stampin' Up! policy. I can't post them on social media, but I can post most of them in my email. So um, that's where you wanna be if you are interested in my online classes, my in-person classes, my catalog launch, um, online bingo, which will be coming up for you guys in September. Let's play a little online bingo. A little too early to market that yet, but don't worry, it's coming. But I will market it through my email list. So if you're interested in things like that, then please sign up for that. And the worst thing that's going to happen is I'm going to give you a free tutorial now and then. Okay? That's it. That's the most, you know, that's the most torture. I'm going to leave these long for a minute. You know, I always like to leave them long until I finish the project and then I know kind of where I want things. Okay, so then let's put this down because I put this down flat on the card. And so before I get many more layers, look at that paper low. Isn't it so pretty? You love the green. Nice. And, oh, the green sequins. Yes. But you know what, we can use those today because we use that granny apple green um, ink for our trees. And so I think we should use them to really bring it out. Good choice. Good choice, Lori. See, that's why I think this was Pool Party in Bermuda Bay, now that I'm really looking at it. Because, um, oh, one other thing I wanted to do, sorry. I need the stamps. I put the tiny little snowflakes up in the corner. Um, but yeah, one thing that tells me that this was probably a blue is that I chose blue sequins. And 
knowing me, I did that because I used glue on those trees. Okay, a little polished pink. This probably makes zero difference, but you'll know it's there. So a little zhuzh up in the corner of the card where you are going to, you have the piece of DSP, designer series paper, folded back. I love looking up and seeing these hearts and emojis fly by. Thank you so much. It makes me feel even more that we are stamping and crafting together. And so I appreciate that. I love it. Thank you. And the comments, keep them coming. I love it. I'm going to read them tonight. And I will answer questions, of course. I'll get back to you if I have a follow-up question and all that fun stuff. So anyway, then I'm just going to turn this kind of cockeyed because it's already, it's just one more layer of interest in this card, right? And then we're going to take this one and... We're going to put dimensionals on it, but we want to keep them more. This is going to be the only card we make tonight. <laughs> I just noticed what time it is. I'm so crazy. Um, I always have, you know, all these high expectations, but don't worry because now you've, now you've had a preview of what we probably will make in the near future, which is um, something with the rays of light and the good feelings stamp set. This card does have some several several little techniques and um, when you talk through them it takes a little bit longer right so totally fine okay so I'm keeping the dimensionals towards the inside of this card and that is because I'm going to come back with those snowflakes and kind of press them inside now seems like I put this one so it's straight because then I want to come in with the sentiment and make that straight too. So I'm following this cardstock, not the DSP. <laughs> Get you confused. But I'm following, there we go. See? And finally, where's our sentiment? See, I, it wouldn't be me if I didn't like, oh, here we go. I didn't have something lurking off to the side. I'm going to kind of look. Uh oh. No. This is going to be too close. The one reason why I leave it nice and long, right, is because I'm going to bring this over. Let me just leave it loose until I put the sentiment down. Okay. And I want to bring this in. And I'm going to cut a little bit off of each side. But I want it to be as long as the white piece. I feel like I don't want to see the end of um, the little stamped image so perfect okay now I'm gonna bring some dimensionals in here but again they need to be kind of precariously placed also because I have twine running underneath this so I don't want dimensionals stacked on top of twine or it's gonna make what I call a speed bump it's where like your card doesn't lay flat like it should so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put a strip of mini dimensionals along the bottom. Oh, actually, we could just use, well, no, let's use minis because um, if we use the strip, um, adhesive strips, they're actually taller than the minis. So let's just use these and call it good. I'm going to put one on each end to get a nice kind of base there and then I'm going to run a little bit of mono up on the top and my twine is ideally going to sit in the middle yeah oh thank you Kathy you have a hard time not doing it straight do it Kathy just try it just try it you'll be kind of addicted like me but see I made this part straight <laughs> But you know what? If you like it straight, you can do it straight. And that can be your spin on the card, right? Okay. I will also, let's see here. I'm also looking at a pink cardstock when I'm putting this on. I do like my sentiments to be straight 
unless it's just like a little ho 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 off to the side or something, right? Okay, now we can tie this bow and it will be exactly where we need it. Oh, so fun. We can't forget, I did forget initially, her stamping of our dog, my gosh. It's only like my favorite stamp, but that's okay because he just needs a tiny little extra piece of white cardstock. So again, you can use these as just plain white or you can use them as iridescent. I'm gonna use them as iridescent. I can't stand it. They're too pretty not to. So I'm just gonna put a little glue in here and I'm going to slip this in under the white. Now I know exactly where I will want it, right? I want it in there. Here's something else, that, Kathy, that you might find hard to do, but you can leave it if you want to. But then I'm going to kind of mash it. <laughs> I'm going to because, you know, it just goes with the rest of the card that's not quite perfect. Don't mash it so hard that you break the spines off of, off of the snowflake. But it makes the snowflake kind of stand up and um, look just like a little bit different. Make sure you've got the iridescent side or not. It's not gonna ruin anything if you don't. And then this one really needs to go in there. So that's why we kept those dimensionals more towards the middle, right? And then we just, <laughs> there's no like specific way to do that. And then look at this. Whoops, I got had a little uh, dimensional backing there. Look at this. Oh, so fun. All right, let's finish this up because it's super cute. I need that doggy. Can't believe I didn't block the dog up first. So funny. And I also can't believe what I thought I was going to get two cards done tonight with this card in particular. In fact, someone asked about this. I want to say her name was Lisa too, but. It wasn't. It was something close though. And she was asking about, when was I gonna take a picture of this? Aw, oh, thanks for the heart. You guys, whoever's clicking, clicking, clicking that. Thank you, I love it. Maybe you all are, I don't know. I'm gonna say you all are. Oh, here it is. Hello. Right, oh. Well, I did put the dog, I must have put the dog on. There he is. Yes, we were talking about him. For goodness sake, Lisa. I was talking about him not fitting on the little one. Okay. This is such a fun set. If you can't tell, I'm like in love with it. Okay, let's get our basic gray out again. A little scrap of basic white, not thick. I don't like stamping on thick unless you are... Well, I don't know, unless you're doing some other special technique. I'll tell you what I've found, what I've seen other people do that I think is a really good use for stamping on basic white thick cardstock. And that is if you have a fine lined image that you are trying to color with your Stampin' Blends, with your alcohol-based markers, um, lots of, well, okay, I think I saw one person do it. I don't know why I said lots of people. I saw a demonstrator, don't remember who it was or I would tell you, um, use basic white thick to stamp on and then to color her image that was fine lined. And that really helped to absorb the ink and, and it helped it not go out, the, out of the line so easy. So that was really cool. I thought that was a score. Otherwise, I love my basic white thick for card bases. Okay, let's bring the mini in. Hello, mini. I knew he was gonna do that. Because I said hello. Tango, what are you doing? Do you want a steak in? You do? Okay. Just give me a few minutes. The iPad won't let you comment? What's that about? Hmm. All right. 
and out of all these beautiful dies, which we talked about in detail last week. So if you missed it, um, please check it out. I hope I wasn't commenting. It looks like my all my equipment's stacked up on top of each other, and I started a comment. It's not weird, though. It only has a bunch of fours in it. Number fours. Thank goodness I didn't write anything more strange. Okay. And Dougie is now free to roam. Oh, look at him. That is cute. You can see he's like smiling because his mouth is open. That's good stuff right there. We have so many cute dogs in the stamp sets right now. I'm really enjoying it. And by so many, I mean two. But um, th there are more dogs than that in, in um, the stamp sets. But I have two that I'm loving. I love the Scotty Dog Christmas. I think that's what it's called. It might just be called Scotty Dog. It has a punch. Oh, I love it so much. And then, of course, this one. Which is so small, but he's so much a part of this tree lot, right? Think about if you've gone to a tree lot before, there's always a dog wandering around, and it's always about this size, a lab or, you know, some like mixed breed thing. Super friendly, roaming around. <laughs> so you can do this a couple of different ways for putting your sequins on. Um, I like the take your pick tool. And I, yeah, I use the putty end, okay? But not that one, that one just like out. I have more, but, all right, let's try it. I have a new putty end. Would I, do I wanna use it? I don't know. It's not a special enough occasion, I guess. Oh, it's almost out. So you can purchase this tool for $10. Might be $11 now, I don't know. It's not very much. And then um, you can add a roller brush for cleaning out dyes. And you can buy refills of the putty, which is really nice. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to make this. This always reminds me of, oh gosh, when I worried about such things, I would get dressing on the side and I would dip my lettuce in there. And I always use probably the same amount of dressing, but I don't know. I said to get it on the side, so I did. <laughs> I don't do that now, can you tell? But um, for my attitude, I think you can probably tell. But I'm still going to dip the sequins in this. So I'm going to just get one on my... Um, yeah, you can see this. Okay, I'm going to get one on my petty. And then I'm going to kind of dab off any extra and then just place that down okay and then I'm gonna do it a few more times okay that one's so tiny I don't think I'm gonna be I almost just want to put that in there and see what comes up but the little tiny ones are coming up I want that size right there okay and like I said there's a number of different ways to do this you can put the glue directly on the paper. You can use glue dots. I think some of them are, some of these sequins are too small for glue dots, but we're just picking out a few of the larger ones, right? I guess I have to whisper <laughs> to sneak up on the sequins. I don't know. I don't know, you guys, why I do a lot of things. I do. So, I am not that self-aware, apparently. I just do my thing. You got the set, you got this set yesterday? I know, whoever said the dog, oh, Jean said that it's worth the dog alone. Jean, not surprisingly, my kind of people. It was like I just laser focused on the dog and I was like, oh, right. Okay, it's a whole set of things. <laughs> Whereas the Scotty dog is kind of like the Scotty dog. And so um, that, of course, just like 
charmed me from the get-go. Okay, there. That looks kind of pretty, but I'm going to grab a couple of the metallics. They're so small. So again, that's why I like this little dipping method, right? Let's put one there. Oh, so cute. And what I really want, I want one of these pearls. So I brought it out on its flat end, right? And then, oh, I see. That's why these are going to be so awesome for shakers. Okay, see what I did there? Dipped it into the dressing. And then, might have too much dressing on that one. Shock. And then I want to put it down here. And it wants to stick to the putty. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take it off with the putty. And then once it glues, or once it dries, I can take it off. I can probably take it off now, in fact. There. So nothing to worry about. Nothing to see here, people. Just put your sequins on. Enjoy it. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad I have two of these cards. I could sit one afternoon to make them. Just make them all. But that is not for this week. Because this week is all about some of my lovely customers coming to the Christmas in July on Saturday morning. Yes, it'll be probably 100 degrees again. It's a good thing I didn't just, I was going to have an ugly sweater contest. And then I was like, really, is that kind? <laughs> and I decided, no, that's not kind. So I did not do that, thank goodness. I don't think anybody would have fallen for it. Okay, this is the one we did tonight. So we changed it up just slightly. Um, we're adding some dimensional backing. We changed it up just slightly by using the Granny Apple Green. And now you know, if you didn't before, or you have been reminded, that you can make any color of embossing powder simply by using the Versamark and then um, putting your stamp in the Versamark and then putting it in any classic Stampin' ink pad. I thought I still had one sitting out here any stamp pad like this, okay? And um, using your clear embossing powder. And you know about the sequins for everything. They are such a good deal. Oh, okay, thank you. Kathy says the Scotty dog is called Christmas Scotty. Again, you can shop for all of that if you're in the United States at thestampingzoo.com. And I so appreciate you um, spending a little bit of your time with me tonight. Thank you so much for letting me come into your homes on, well, for a little bit of time. I won't say Thursday nights because it's not always Thursday night where you are. But thank you for letting me come into your homes and teach you a little bit about what I love to do so much, and that's paper crafting. If you have any questions for me, please post them here or private message me. If you would like to purchase any products, I would love it. That's one of the things that keeps the Stamping Zoo going. And I would love to be your demonstrator. I'd love to uh, have the opportunity to earn your business, okay? So with that, I will leave you tonight. I want you to have a wonderful weekend, and um, I'll see you soon. Thank you so much, everybody.